Next, let's find an equation for the tangent plane to the graph of z equals the cosine of x plus y at the point pi over 2, 0, 0. And then we'll write the parametric equations for the normal line. And we'll find that once we find everything that we need for the tangent plane, it's just simple to write the parametric equations for the normal line. So first, looking at my function z equal the cosine of x plus y, I want to write a level surface to some function of x, y, z. So I'll simply write z minus the cosine of x plus y and say the zeroth level surface of some function f, x, y, z. So if I let f, x, y, z equal to z minus cos x plus y, now I'm able to find the gradient of f at all x, y, z, because these are going to produce my direction numbers. And if I find the partial with respect to x, let's see, the partial of the z respect to x is going to be 0, and the derivative of the cosine is going to give me the uh, negative of the sine, and with that negative it will turn it positive, so I'll get the sine of x plus y times the partial of the argument with respect to x is just 1. Likewise, if I find the partial with respect to y, I, I take the derivative of the cosine again, I get a negative sine, and the negative of the negative will give me a positive sine x plus y. And the partial of y with respect to y again is just 1. And now, the partial with respect to z, of course, is simply 1. And so now, this is a master function at all x, y, z. We want to calculate the gradient of f at pi over 2, 0, 0. Okay. So let's see. I get the sine of x plus y, or the sine of pi over 2 plus 0. And we know that the sine of pi over 2 is simply 1. Comma, well, it's the same thing. Sine x plus y, sine pi over 2 plus 0. Sine of pi over 2, again, is 1. And I just carry down the 1 because I don't evaluate at any x, y, z. So now my gradient tells me uh, to travel in direction 1, 1, 1 uh, for maybe max change. And it's not a unit vector, but it still points in the direction of uh, max change. So with my direction numbers, now I need to use it and my point, because my point gives me my x naught, y naught, z naught, to write the equation of a tangent plane. So the equation of tangent plane, I'll just write as the gradient of f at my point, p, dotted with the vector x minus pi over 2, y minus 0, z minus 0, and of course, the dot product must be 0. Okay. And if I take the components, let's say my 1, 1, 1, dotted into x minus pi over 2, y, z, and I dot them, I'll get x minus pi over 2 plus y plus z equals 0. And if I want, I can write the equation of the tangent plane as x plus y plus z equals pi over 2. And now to write the parametric equation of the normal line, I have all the information in my gradient and my point. And so the parametric equation of a line, if you recall, is just x equals x naught plus, uh, we used to use a, b, and c, let's say, for the uh, direction numbers, but these are simply the components of the gradient. So y equals y naught plus f y t, and z equals z naught plus f z t. And a quick dimensional analysis, if you get confused as to whether or not your x naught, y naught, z naught should be here or here, you could see uh, x, y, and z are length parameters, so a length parameter equals a length parameter plus a rate times time, which is another length parameter. Okay? So if I just want to write this out, I get x equals x naught is pi over 2 plus fx, uh, which is 1, t. I can write this as plus t. 
And since they're all 1, 1, 1, I get y now, which is 0, plus t, and z, which is 0, plus t. And that's the parametric equations for the normal line of z equals the cosine of x plus y, well, the level surface, z uh, minus the cosine of x plus y. Thank you.